I'm currently having a glass of wine because I'm heading to a birthday party tonight in Los Angeles. I have lived here before, so I do have friends already. And I will say it took me a while to get friends in LA. I was here for four and a half years, so uh, the first year I was friendless. I actually had a really mean girl story happen the first like few months that I moved to LA. I met these girls at the company that I worked for and they invited me to a holiday party and it was like themed so I got all dressed up and I even went out and bought them little mugs just as like a little housewarming gift and I had like glitter all over my face and then they just um, never answered my text with the address. <laughs> So I was just like sitting on my couch. It was it was definitely a moment. I don't I wasn't scarred by it, but it definitely was like, oh, is LA going to be a tough city? Yes, it is. Anyways, this is my new little filming corner in my sublease that I'm subleasing for three months just because I don't really know what I want to do, where I want to go. I rented out my Chicago place. So just kind of testing LA again and seeing, you know, do I want to come back here? Maybe I want to stay in Chicago. I want to end up in Chicago. I would love to have my life be in Chicago, but right now it seems like I can just kind of do other things. Now that we've gotten through that extremely long intro and update on my life, let's, uh, I guess, talk about today's video of things that you can easily do to fix up your home. If you live in a new home or you just are looking for ways to upgrade your home without spending a ton of money, what are some like little touches that you can do that can make a pretty big difference? And I definitely have some tips up my sleeve. So let's get started on today's video of easy ways you can upgrade your space from my brain. This is what I think you should do. I actually saw this first idea on TikTok. Yeah, TikTok, I'm still scrolling that goddamn app. Trying to give myself like one more day on TikTok. I'm like, you know what? You, you just went through a hard time. You can go on TikTok. Um, so starting this Monday, I need to get back off of that app because it is addicting and not good for the brain. But anyways, I saw this tip on TikTok of painting your door. So let's say you have really outdated wooden doors in your home, just simply painting them white or black is just such a simple, easy way to get rid of that outdated wood. Normally I would say keep anything natural wood, but if the doors are just cheap and outdated, why not paint them black? Look how good this after is compared to the before. It's easy, it's affordable, and it really really makes a huge difference. Sometimes the smallest touches can make the biggest change in your space. So painting your doors white or black or whatever color you want. Continuing off of doors, another really easy way uh, to give that space an upgrade is to just switch out the doorknobs. Doorknobs can be super outdated and you can easily thrift some vintage ones and just switch them out. I did this in my Chicago place. I actually bought just some black sleek modern doorknobs to replace the really just outdated silver ones. I think they were silver or gold. Not that it's horrible, but it really does give a nice modern touch if your space is super outdated. That's just an easy way to upgrade it. I really love a vintage doorknob personally, so go thrift those, switch them out on your doors and Voila, you got a nice little upgrade. Continuing on the doorknob talk, or just knobs in general, knobs or handles or whatever, upgrading your kitchen handles or knobs on your cabinets is such an easy way to give a little modern touch in your kitchen. I've mentioned this one in a previous video before, but also on your dresser, really anywhere that you have a knob, <laughs> you can buy new like modern knobs from Home Depot or you can get some vintage ones or just some unique ones and just switch them out and you'd be surprised how such a little touch can make such a huge difference. That's kind of my number one tip for people who are moving into a new home and it has an outdated kitchen. Kitchens are super expensive to upgrade so I just say switch out 
the knobs or the handles. <laughs> This tip requires a little bit more work, but you can buy wainscoting or this trim stuff or chair rails off of Wayfair. You can literally buy these at Home Depot. So stick them on your wall and then paint it a nice color. You can keep it white or do a cool color. I think that's a really easy way to upgrade like an office or a dining room, just adding some really nice, it's, almost, it's not architecture, but it looks like it's like this old, you know, molding that came with the building, but in reality it's from Home Depot and you just painted it. And I think that's just a fun way to add a little spice to a room, you know? It is a little bit more time consuming than, you know, switching out your handles, but if you're looking for a fun project, I highly recommend. Sometimes you just have a blank wall and Finding a nice piece of art can be tough. Maybe you've outdone the mirrors. You have too many mirrors throughout your place. So adding in some wall shelving is one of the easiest ways to kind of add an artsy touch to a blank wall. I do understand that shelving can get expensive. So I went out and bought just plain Home Depot shelves and put them on white brackets in my, in my bedroom that I actually used for like shoe storage. But my friend Kate, how many times am I gonna mention Kate ever? If you watch my videos, Kate, she's my best friend from Michigan State, and we have been best friends for like 13 years. And now we live in the same city for the first time since college, so that's fun. But anyways, she took it to another level where she bought Home Depot wood with the brackets, the same ones as me, but she painted the wood like a dark green, and then she actually painted the brackets like a light blue, and I really love what she did with it, kind of making it unique and her own. Kate also is a prop stylist and works in interiors. We do the exact same thing, so she's kind of my one friend I trust with interior decor. I mean, I have other people too, but we definitely, I would say we have really similar tastes, but also very different at the same time, but we, I guess we just appreciate each other's style. Um, I'll have to show you her house in a video or something because she has she has really good taste another really easy way to upgrade your bedroom or your kitchen your whole any room honestly any room that has a boob light on your ceiling just replacing that boob light it's really not difficult to do a task rabbit can come in and replace it within an hour you can find one for like 70 bucks have them come replace the boob light find one on wayfair that's just like a more modern upgraded set like even just this Simple, simple light will help that really outdated boob light on the ceiling. When, when were those boob lights in? Like, were those modern? Are, are the things that we're replacing the boob lights with going to be the new boob light? You know? I don't know. Get rid of the boob lights. Very easy way to upgrade your space. And don't forget about TaskRabbit. I use TaskRabbit for literally everything or my dad would help me. But if he can't help me, then I just go to TaskRabbit. There's someone that can literally do anything. They can assemble your Ikea furniture if you really want. Do you have an electrical box in your unit? I feel like it's pretty common in apartments, but if you have a house, I guess it might be in your basement. But I had one that was super visible in my kitchen. So just hang a little piece of art over it. That's all it is. I had a piece of art that was pretty much the exact same size. Hammer in a little nail, hang a little piece of art over it. It's so easy. It's so easy. That's one of the easiest ways to kind of just hide that eyesore, whatever it may be. Everyone has some type of eyesore in their house that you just need to hang a little piece of art over. It's the easiest solution. Art is always the solution to everything. So if you have a little electrical box, put a piece of art over that thing, but don't forget about it. My last little tip for upgrading your space is paint. Okay, wait, hear me out. Not just painting a room or an accent wall or whatever. Find a little space in your house, whether it's like a little office or maybe it's some shelves that are in your family room. Maybe it's a cabinet that has glass doors. Maybe it's a little hallway just a little, little hallway or an entry hallway, paint that little space, just a little space. I think adding in just a fun pop of color in a small condensed area, including the ceiling, paint it all, is just a unique way to give that little upgrade without having to spend a lot of money. Here in my sublease, my friend Grace has painted this little archway 
right when you walk in. I absolutely love that she did that. It's not like she painted the whole space this color. She just painted the little archway. And then she has this little nook that she painted a little purple. And she said she just went and got a, a sample paint from Home Depot. So I'm pretty sure those are free or just very cheap. So if you have little nooks and crannies like that, paint it a fun color, wallpaper it. Creating those little areas in your house will just make it feel way more unique and have that nice little personal touch that everyone is always looking for. That's what makes a house a home. <laughs> those personal touches. <laughs> All right, I am going to go and finish another glass of wine. Then I'm off to my friend's birthday party. And then I might be going to gay charade night. I don't know where the night is going to take me. It's also weirdly chilly out and I did not really pack a lot of my winter stuff, which is a bummer. I'm like, it's gonna be summer right when I moved to LA. I have like all my tank tops and dresses. All right, thanks for watching. I'm actually going to be posting this Wednesday and then this Sunday. And then I don't know if I can continue that, but I will be posting this Wednesday. So mark your calendars and turn on your push notifications. Mobile upload. My friends used to make fun of me for always saying mobile upload this. Remember when we had to mobile upload it? No one remembers that. All right, um, hopefully these tips are helpful. Send me photos if you do anything that I mentioned on my, on my Instagram, at Wasselpa. Um, all right, well, cheers. Goodbye. Okay,